Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Level Up event is on right now, and I have already ranked up my third six star. If you have not seen it, definitely go take a look. I took up a six star to rank three, but in this video, it's a five star. Now, if you watch the previous one, you'll know that I opened up a bunch of tier four class catalyst crystals. And I got a bunch that I did not really want. Well, we're going to use some of those right now. So if you want to leave a comment, now's the time. Pause the video because we're about to reveal in five, four, three, two, one. It's Guardian. Guardian's an awesome champion. All right. So while I'm ranking him up, I will turn you over to my other self who stays in the shadows. Woo, glad to be back. All right, so while he's ranking up Guardian, I'll give you a little background on Guardian. So first of all, his real name is James Hudson. Uh, he's also called Weapon Alpha or Vindicator. He first appeared in X-Men issue 109, and he's a founding member and the leader of Alpha Flight. He was designed to be the Canadian equivalent of Captain America. That's why his costume markings are modeled after the Canadian flag. Guardian is often confused with Captain Canuck, who's another Canadian themed superhero with similar costume and superpowers. All right, he was born in London, Ontario, Canada. Uh, he is a leading petrochemical engineer and scientist for the AMCAN Corporation developing a powered exoskeleton suit. Basically, he learned that it was going to be used for American military purposes. He raided it. He got his suit, left out the main control helmet uh, that he created before he joined the company. Uh, he was going to get sued. He was prepared to get sued. But his girlfriend, Heather McNeil, uh, she pulled some political strings. And eventually, the department... H was formed, which was a secret branch of the Canadian Department of National Defense. Uh, he created uh, a team called the Flight, which had Wolverine as its member. And later he tried to get Wolverine back. Uh, it failed. So that's all the background we have time for right now. I feel that I'm about to be put back in the shadows. Until next time. All right. That is Guardian ranked up now i admit i don't really know a whole lot about guardian i know he's good i know he adds block proficiency to others so i'm looking forward to playing around with him a little bit all right now before we uh move on to some gameplay i wanted to show you guys why i took him up right now all right, so take a look. I didn't claim it yet because I want you to see. Okay, I got some uh, tier five basics in the overflow. So look at that. And look at the tech. They just loved giving me tech. I don't know why. So let's claim all of that. All right, so now we have one, two. Did I miss one? No. One, two. And we still got, what is this, three, six in the overflow. They just love giving it to us. All right. So now let's see a little gameplay. Uh, let me play around with him, test him out, uh, see what he's about. All right. So now on to the gameplay portion of the video. We're going into Realm of Legends, of course, against Winter Soldier. Good benchmark. This is a team I chose. Let's take a look at the synergies that I've uh, activated, which is all of them. He has a synergy with himself. He gives everyone else 1,000 block proficiency. Uh, this synergy, the first three blocks have a 100% chance to be a perfect block. This is the one that I am very interested in. Well-timed blocks, that's a parry, inflict a shock debuff, okay? Uh, this one, pretty negligible, uh, more armor rating, and then 5% uh, more block, perfect block chance. And then you got Mole Man, each time Guardian has zero force field charges, gains a charge, he gains an additional one. Uh, the Sasquatch one, where you get a shock 
on your parries seems to be a, a very useful one out of all of them. Uh, and of course, he helps everyone else on the team with a higher block proficiency. All right, so uh, I've done a little bit of research into Guardian, not that much. And what we're going to do here is we're going to try to build him up and get a big boy special two. Uh, I've seen some crazy damage and I was curious as to how you would do it. Uh, so uh, you're not going to see me firing off special ones uh, or special twos. What I'm going to do is fire off a few special threes. So that's what you're going to do. We're going to build up to a special three. That's what you're going to see. And eventually fire off a special two. All right. So uh, if you look uh, when this is done, look at the force field charges that he has. Uh, he gets temporary ones. But after a special three, he gets permanent ones. That's why we want to cycle his special threes. So you see there, he right now has nine permanent. Uh, he started off with, I believe, three permanent. Now, look at look at it now. You see how some of them are um, timing down? That are the, uh, or that's the temporary uh, force field charges. So more special threes and he will have more permanent force field charges. And when they get up there, it's a nice day, a nice time uh, for his special two damage. All right, so uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing here. Normally when I do these videos, uh, I will, you know, just showcase the animation, show you his special one, um, but in this video, I don't do a special one. You will get a chance to see his heavy. Uh, and the heavy attack is actually um, interesting because it'll put up a temporary armor up. Now, the reason that that's interesting is the special two is going to remove one armor up buff. Now, you see this one is permanent, right? Uh, and when you fire off a special two, it goes away. So say you're fighting Havoc. You want, before you fire off a special two on Havoc, you want to fire off a heavy attack so that you have two armor ups and you can fire the special two. You'll keep one that will be timing down, but eventually you will get your armor up back. So it's sort of a, a temporary protection, uh, which can come in handy, especially when you're fighting like Havoc. All right, so you see there, I did the heavy attack, and you see he has two, but one of them is counting down. All right, um, I just did that. Uh, we're not going to fire off the special two just yet, um, but I just did that to show the uh, temporary armor up. You see, it's already gone now. All right, so we're going, we're gonna fire off another one, and you can see he's already at like 45% of his health. Now I'm running suicides, and I also uh, have that synergy with Sasquatch, which is also doing damage, all right? So look at that, he's got 22 um, force field charges right now, all right? So I'm gonna try to build up to a special two and whatever charges I have at that time, we're gonna fire it off, okay? So we're just baiting it out. We got to the special two here and um, I believe what I wanted to show you guys is the uh, way you want to do it. Yep, do the heavy. So now you have two armor ups and then boom, boom. Just look at that damage. Pause it, rewind it, take a look at the damage that he did on that special two. So um, that is pretty much how I believe uh, most people are going to be playing Guardian. Now, my Guardian is not Max Sig or anything like that. Um, he's also a very nasty defender. Uh, when he has that Max Sig, he's just really annoying. Really, really annoying. Um, he likes to block, auto block specials. So, yeah, he can be quite annoying. Uh, but on offense, as you see, he might take a little bit of a ramp up, which uh, I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, ramp up champions, but he might take a little bit of a ramp up 
but it's worth it in that special too. Uh, he also doesn't crit. So he is great if you're in Alliance War and they choose the flow, which I haven't seen in so a uh, long time, but um, if they choose flow as their defense tactic, he is great for it. Um, he's good to fight uh, Mr. Sinister. Uh, and pretty much in any case, I think spiked armor, he does extremely well on that as well. Uh, any situation where crits can hurt you, he does great. All right. So that's going to do it guys. Uh, I may play with him a little bit more. Uh, I know I have not touched everything that, you know, he's good for, but this seems to be what I've seen the most build up and fire off a special two. Now, you don't have to cycle all of those special threes. I just wanted to, you know, get a really big special two. But uh, in most fights, you might do one special three, do a heavy, fire your special two off, and be done with it, okay? You have to judge based on, you know, the uh, health pool of your opponent. If they have a really large health pool, you might want to cycle a few special threes. And it's great for suicides because he has high resistance. I don't know if you noticed that. Look at the health he was left at. He was blocking a lot of specials. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.